G'day, Arjie Bajie crew. I hope you're having a fantastic day and your family's happy and healthy. I'm going to show you how to upload your mods using two programs to the Steam Workshop. Uh, the first program we're going to use is Mod Studio 2, and the second one is the SCS Workshop Uploader. And the program I'm going, oh, the mod I'm going to show you that I'm going to upload is a truck skin that I created in a previous video for the t680 and this one covers the uh, day cab mid cab and high cab it doesn't cab, uh, cover the uh, next generation t680 uh, or the 76 inch one unfortunately because i can't find the template for it yet but i'm working on that so that will be next uh, and like i say all you've got to do is make sure that you've got your mod set up in the correct format so go to your mod manifest and make sure that you've got all the basic information correctly entered first before you do anything so what you would do is give it a mod name i've just given it a quick mod name mod author which is me and the mod version 1.0 then if it's got any dependencies you would click that i've just simply clicked kenworth t680 because that's what it's for uh, and then what you would do is you would then uh, choose what category it's a truck in the truck category as a paint job or a paint skin whichever you want to call it then what you do is choose the icon if you don't have an icon set up you can use the default one that mod studio provides uh, then in the text just add a bit of a blurb here for uh, to describe what it is and all i've done is i've put this mod adds the Argy transport logo to the Kenworth T680 day cab, mid cab and high cab. Uh, then in multiplayer, if the uh, mod is to be optional, you would tick this. If it's not, then you don't tick it. Because it's just a paint skin, a truck skin, I've uh, ticked multiplayer optional, meaning that it uh, can be used on the dedicated servers and in convoys. Environment is for the internal name, if you have multiple mods, uh, just so to save any confusion. I don't use that because this is just a single mod right now. So now that you've done that, you would then go here and you would make sure that you saved it first, and then you would come here and export it. Now you don't export it as a local mod, you've got to export it as a Steam Workshop mod. It's important to do that because it packages it up so that Steam Workshop can read everything and uh, allow for downloads. So you click Steam Workshop, Export Mod, and I've already set up a folder here in the V680 folder, which is this one, version 1, and you would then select that folder. Let it do its thing, it's packaging it all up for you now. And once that is all packaged, uh, you would then make sure that it, everything went into the folder. I'll bring it across here. And you can see that the zip folder is there and the version is there as well which shows you what uh shows steam what version it is etc etc so it's all nicely packaged and ready to go so we'll get rid of that right now so now that that's all done you can move this to one side because you don't really need it unless we find an error or something like that but i'll part i'll go over that once we uh get further into the video so now that you've done that, you go to the workshop uploader. So what you've got to do is, if you don't already have it, is just type up here, uploader, and it will come up. Make sure you install it. Once you've installed it, uh, then you can just simply launch it. And once it's uh, launched, you've now got all these uh, options that you can choose from. So you've got to select the game first and because it's American Truck Simulator, we'll choose that. <laughs> Once you've done that, for some reason it does this, it, it disappears off the screen, and it's down here, so we've got to click it on. I don't know why it does that, but it does it every time. You will choose here if it's an existing mod, and in this situation, it's a new mod, so we'll choose new. And then here, you will choose where it is in uh, your folder, which is here, it's in version one, so we select that so now it knows where to download or up sorry upload the folder from you've got to put a preview image with it 
Uh, so make sure you've got a preview image that is a JPEG with a maximum size of one megabyte and a resolution of 640 pixels by 360 pixels. Now I don't actually have one for it because it's just a demonstration that I'm doing, but I have one in here that I can use just for temporary purposes. So we'll use that. But again, make sure that it's 640 pixels by 360 pixels, one megabyte and a JPEG. Then in here you enter the mod name and again we'll go Argybarge Transport logo uh, camera or we'll just go T680 for the purposes of the video and here you can choose whether to make it private friends only or public we're going to make it public because we want everybody to see it and then in here you put a description and what you've got to do in the description basically I just copy and paste exactly what I did in the manifest uh, but it's got to be 50 characters or more and a minimum a maximum of 88,000 I don't think you get to that point but anyway so you just paste something in here uh, and like I say it's got to be at least 50 characters and over here you would select what type it is it is a truck paint job skin and then we'd go paint job and brand is Kenworth and if there's any change notes so that's for if you're uploading another version of the same mod you would put any changes in there all right so you've got American Truck Simulator chosen for the game it is a new mod that you're uploading you've then browsed to where it's uh, on your computer so that it knows where to upload it you've now browsed for the preview image so it knows where to upload that you've put your name in uh, the mod name in You've chosen whether it's public, private, or uh, friends only. You've put a description in. Trucks, paint jobs, Kenworth, any change notes. So now you're, you're sure that everything's okay. You can click upload. And it will discover files. Now I always get this warning. But I ignore it because it doesn't make any difference. But if you get errors, then you'll have to read what the error is. And go back and fix it before you can upload it. Warnings normally mean that you can still upload it, and as long as it's not something that uh, is dramatic, you should be fine. You shouldn't have any problems with uploading it. Again, I get this on every uh, mod that I upload, and I find that by simply ignoring it and continuing, that everything's fine. So I'm going to ignore that, but if there was an error, I would go back and fix it. Click continue, and then down here you'll see it's uploading content. It will give you a progression. Uploading preview, uploaded successfully. Item has been successfully uploaded. Click OK. Put this to one side just in case. Now we can go back into the library. Go to American Truck Simulator. Hit Workshop. Go to our files. Files you've uploaded. And check that it's uploaded correctly. And as you can see here, it's uploaded. It now says in the description what it is. A couple of links there for people to find me. You can then edit the title and description if you wish. Uh, you can edit the images and videos if you wish. You can add or remove contributors. You can edit links. And you can allow or disallow comments. Uh, you can add and remove. So, so you can basically completely edit it once it's up there. Uh, and again, just to check that everything is okay. I just simply get go around, make sure all the wording is correct and I haven't made any spelling mistakes. Make sure that everything is linked here. And then I would subscribe to it for myself and then double check that it's working. And then I know exactly that uh, when people subscribe to it, that everything is going to be good for them. So that's really how easy it is to upload a mod to the workshop. It's not hard at all. And again, like I say, it's just simple by using uh, Mod Studio 2 and the uploader, which is this one here. Filling it out correctly, clicking upload, and away you go. So hopefully that helps you out when you're looking at doing that for yourself. If you've got any friends or, or you know anybody that uh, might benefit from having a look at this video, please share it with them. And uh, if you haven't already, if please subscribe. It's free, you might as well, and it helps me out with the uh, algorithm. 
give me the uh, thumbs up, hit the like button, all that stuff. YouTube loves it, and like I say, it helps me out. So hopefully that uh, it was understandable and uh, wasn't too confusing. If you've got any questions, just ask them down in the comments, or you can hit me up on my Discord. And uh, yeah, hopefully you did enjoy it, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.